And uh, Strick came back a couple. He'll probably be playing with him tomorrow. Yeah, anytime you get in that final group on Sunday, um, you've done a, um, done a, a great job. And today I, uh, I played I played well all day. You know, I, uh, I made some great up and downs to keep my round going. And uh, only one bogey on the card with a bad tee shot on 11. But I had a lot of opportunities and I, I did everything well today. Did you hear some of the roars that he had put one in again <laughs> up in the front? He's, I think he went out in 31. How much, how much did you pay attention to that? Well, I was just kind of laughing, you know. Um, I'm happy for him, you know. I, I enjoy when guys are playing well, you know, especially Stricker. It's hard not to pull for him. But uh, when a guy's holding out from the fairway, there's nothing you can do. It just makes me try harder to, to make some birdies and catch up. He did give a couple back coming in. Does that give you a little confidence that maybe you can go out there and win this thing? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I feel like I left a couple out there today. Um, I, I'm playing great golf right now. And, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You know, this is a tough golf course. You can make bogeys at, at any stage of the game. And uh, you just got to keep playing and, uh, you know, give yourself a chance. How different is it? Knowing when you're in the final group on Sunday, is it just kind of a different mindset knowing that everyone's sort of following you and, and watching your game? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a fun environment to be in. Anytime you get paired with Tiger or um, any of the big name guys, it's just a heightened environment and everybody's watching what you're doing. So um, it makes us kind of block everything out a little easier, you know, because there's so many people and you kind of just focus on your game and just just play your best. So you enjoy that sort of pressure? I, I do. <laughs> I, uh, I, so I tell people sometimes it's easier, you know. I think the hardest uh, environment to play in is when there's like two people out there and they got a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just making so much noise, but when there's a ton of people, you just block it everybody out. I, I, we had a lot of guys come in here and talk about having trouble keeping the ball in the fairway and that it would run through because they're getting so much bounce out of these fairways. Did you have any issues with that today? You know, I, uh, I, I've gotten to play here two years ago late on Saturday and Sunday, and, um, and I think that experience today really helped me because I got up on tees and I looked at my brother and I said, like we stepped on 18 and I said, I think it's a three iron off the tee when normally we're hitting a three wood or a hybrid. And uh, I just told him, this, this ball's going to run out farther than you think. And, uh, and, I, and that enabled me to judge the speed of the greens and the distance with my irons and tee shots. And I did a pretty good job of that today. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. I suppose you like that position quite a bit, huh? I like that position, yeah. I, I wish it was a few more. You know, I gave a, a few away coming in. But uh, all in all, you know, 69 is a good round here. And, and um, you know, kind of fell asleep a little bit on that back nine. But... Um, you know, like I say, all in all, it was a good score and, and um, a good spot heading into tomorrow. Coming in yesterday, you're back that front 30 and then 31 today going out. Just had it rolling, or how do you explain that yeah, shoot that well? You, you can't explain it, I guess. That's golf. And, and then, uh, you know, to do what I did on the backside, that's golf again. You know, you just uh, you got to keep your head down and keep plugging, and you never know what's going to happen. You know, all of a sudden I started... You know, I hit a good drive at 18, and I'm in a divot. Uh, hit it over the green, not in a good lie. So all of a sudden, things seem pretty difficult when, you know, earlier in the day, it, you know, it seemed pretty easy at times. So, uh, but that's the nature of the game. Um, so, but, you know, all in all, in, in a good spot heading into uh, Sunday. You had the ace yesterday, in the eagle from the fairway coming out on two today. Have you had that happen in back-to-back -back rounds like that? Well... I haven't had an ace and then some eagles like I had today, but John Deere a couple years ago, I was seemed like I was dunking them in from the fairway all over the place. So, it, you know, it's happened before. It's, it's a good omen, I guess. Uh, so hopefully I keep some more of that coming tomorrow. It's a pretty good test for you in terms of U.S. Open coming up. I know you obviously want to win this tournament. This puts the type of pressure that maybe you'll see in a, in a, in a couple of weeks as well. You're in the final, obviously the final pairing with, with some shots too and your golf tournament to lose, so to speak. No doubt. Yeah, it's it's great preparation for a couple of weeks. Uh, U.S. Open style course here too. You know, you got to drive in, in the fairway. Uh, it's getting a little firmer out here. Uh, today, uh, 18 fairway was really firm. Uh, so I'm sure we'll see some firmer conditions tomorrow, too. So, yeah, much like the U.S. Open, so it's great preparation. We had some guys say that they had trouble keeping it in the fairway. They didn't know what to hit off of some tees yeah. because it would run through. Did you run into those problems? Yeah, we were doing the same things. You know, it was uh, it definitely got firmer. 18, like I said, uh, I hit it barely in the right side of the fairway, and it rolled all the way down into the middle. So uh, I'm sure there were some guys there that found the water on the left. Uh, so it, it got a little bit difficult today. We Steve, talk, you, go ahead. Jim. You've played in this situation before where you've had a lead on Sunday. What, what changes? I presume it's just an entirely different mental approach when you're playing with a lead, a little bit of a comfortable lead, as you go into a Sunday. 
you know, you got to just try to do your same things. You know, uh, three shots isn't a huge lead uh, on tour. Uh, guys are going to come out firing. They can be a little bit more aggressive. They don't have anything to lose. I've got uh, that lead to lose, you know, so, um, you know, you tend to want to be a little cautious, and that's what you got to fight against because sometimes that cautiousness can lead to bogeys uh, or poor shots. So you still got to go out and play your game and, and uh, you know, do the things you've been doing to get to this point. Well, clearly, consistency is, is the, what you do. You're one of the most consistent players on tour. How, how far does that go with you? Are there little things that you do that are unique? I even saw you grab a sandwich at, at the turn. Is it the same sandwich, everything? Like, how, how consistent are you in everything that you do? It's pretty consistent, yeah. It's the same peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> uh, no, you know, it's just, the, that's my style. You know, it's, uh, I won't overpower a golf course, so I gotta, I gotta think my way around there and, and do the little things well. Putt, chip well, drive it in the fairway, uh, try not to make too many mistakes. And, and that's what I try to do each and every day. And, and that's, I think, why I've been so consistent. And uh, so I'll try to do the same things tomorrow. PB and Jay, the yeah, meal of champions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Protein. And, yeah. Jonathan said he was really looking forward to playing with you tomorrow and uh, should, should be a fun final pairing. Yeah, it will be fun. He's a good kid, good guy. He's already won this year. We played together uh, at the Hyundai Tournament of Champions, the first event of the year, and, and he won. And uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, it's, uh, he's a good guy, and, and we'll have a good time. All right, Thank you.